Hey, welcome to Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. My name's Scott. We're going to go and continue our experiment on getting this amino pyrrolid out of the garden beds. So let's go see. <laughs> follow my channel at all, you know that um, I've experienced a common and an awful contamination from a persistent herbicide called aminopyrrolids, and I brought that in unknowingly on my hay. I laid down hay from mulch in my tomato beds, and you can go back and watch the videos to see what happened, but basically those tomatoes uh, were tainted. Now what I'm trying to do is to take up that persistent molecule, that herbicide in the soil using a plant that does not respond to the herbicide. So that's corn. Corn is a monocot, tomatoes are dicots, and this herbicide Grazon is designed to attack and uh, disrupt the growth patterns of monocot, I'm sorry, dicot plants uh, like weeds, broadleaf weeds. And so farmers will spray this on their hay, they'll spray it on their uh, fields and the cows can go graze on it and the manure that you bring in and hay from those fields is tainted because that molecule is what they call persistent. Persistent is the key. It lasts and it lasts and it lasts. Please go watch my video, I'll link it right there and uh, learn about this stuff. But what we're doing is we're trying to bring this up out of the soil and to store it in the, in the leaves and the foliage of corn plants because corn is a monocot not uh, affected by this. So, to remedy this problem, I had to come in and take out all the tainted plants, and that was a real sad thing. But what I had done is put corn, I had sown corn already in the midst of all of those tomato plants to get a head start. And so that's where we are now. We have corn growing, and the corn is now about a foot high, and so it's time to go in and plant some test crops and see how this is working. So as part of our experiment, I want to see if it's working. So I'm going to go and interplant in my corn some beans. I'm going to plant these uh, Blauhilde beans. I don't know how to say that in German, but uh, it's an old uh, heirloom. And we're going to see if these come up well and if they seem to indicate that the persistent herbicide is still in the soil. So this is an indicator plant for me. We're going to plant it in, in, the, in the midst of my corn, almost like a three sisters garden, but we don't have any squash in there. And so as these corn stalks grow, they're an ornamental variety, and uh, we can use those corn cobs if we get any, and they will support these vining beans. If we don't show any signs of amino pyrrolids in there, well, we'll have some beans too. So that's what we're doing today. Continuing the experiment and trying to learn as we go. Now again, we're planting densely and we're filling this bed with, with life. These are an indicator crop. They will tell us if we still have pesticide in here. And if we don't, well, we got a whole bunch of beans to eat. And if they do, no loss. These beans will also help to draw up whatever's left in this soil of that amino pyrrolid. And the more, the more life we can get in this soil, and the more things we can get growing, the more the nutrients, along with the herbicide, is taken up into the plant. We can chop it down, take it out of our garden. So once again, this is an experiment. We're not trying to plant these beans primarily for a crop, although if we get a crop and the plants look healthy, then we'll have some beans to eat. But uh, I appreciate you following along this experiment. We're learning as we grow. There's not a whole lot of information out there on the web uh, about how to how to remediate this problem. The the best ideas and the, the best uh, practices are still being developed and so hopefully this will work, this will help, and this will be something, a tool that we can put in our toolkit on how to remediate this problem and it will be helpful to other gardeners as well. So uh, check back with us in a few months and we'll, we'll give you an update and we'll see how this works and let you know if this was a, su a successful experiment, whether it was marginal or whether it just didn't show any, any signs of helping at all. So again, the beans are the indicator crop. They should be up soon and we'll let you know. 
Thanks for joining us on Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. Appreciate it. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, like us on Instagram. Uh, follow us on Facebook, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.